How did it come that you know so much about fishing rods? <laughs> I was fortunate enough to marry a man who designs fishing rods, or fishing rod blanks, which is the, the shaft of the rod. And I saw an opportunity to build something really beautiful of our own. Because we've got our own factory here on our doorstep, we can create something really special. But it also has to be functional, it also has to do a job, doesn't yes. it? What you're holding there is a, a quite a specialist type rod. It's for top water fishing, called a stick bait rod. We actually started this business with what's called soft bait rods, and this is the one underneath here. Mm -hmm. So these are a much more delicate rods. What's your motivation for a brand called Maven? The word Maven means somebody who's really knowledgeable an expert about something, and this is extremely relevant to fishing. Since creating that name, we more and more come across people that fit exactly the essence of what it means. I was always interested in composites because they're so closely tied with sports, which I'm very keen on. A great fit, it was sport, composites, and making things. So what makes a good rod would be the fact that we don't scrimp on the grade of the carbon that we put in these rods. The carbons that we use today aren't the carbons that we were using last year. We we're always constantly refining that. It is a product that you'll have for 10 or 20 years. So a 20 year companion with your own names on it. It's amazing. It's pretty cool. I, I didn't know that fishing rods can get so personal. And then once you want to get a new one, you hang this on the wall above your fireplace and it's a piece of art. You're keeping the materials in a freezer. <laughs> yep. Each one of these rolls is a different grade of material. We've got probably 20 different flavours of carbon right in here. So we start with the carbon, we roll the carbon around a mandrel, which is a steel shaft, and then we have to compress the carbon and hold it in its shape. We do that by wrapping plastic tape around. Because when we go to cook this, the resin in this material will go like water. And if we don't contain it, it'll just run out and the part will unravel. So we use a, what we call a mandrel puller, effectively like a wire stripper. It removes it out, we sand them, then we paint them, and, and then here we're trimming them to length. we see people are making now needs to have a little bit of the soul of the creator in it. The ingenuity around the materials management, the machinery, the process, the painting, the branding, the quality that comes out of here. I would never have thought that something like this would have so many dimensions to build this. This is awesome.